Hey guys, Lazy Purple here, ready to crack open another vertebra into the spinal column of history. From now onwards, I speak only of the human experience pertaining to playing the medic in Valve's fucking smash hit Team Fortress 2. So what does it feel like to play as class number 7? It's something close to the God Orgasm. You are a tool in a nine-component workforce, designed specifically for repair. Even at the potential expense of your own mortality, your main objective is to demonstrate a responsible use of your own power. While other tools are optimized for dealing damage and excommunicating other organisms down to a lower step of the food chain, the medic plays God in a special game of Win the War, created for his own amusement. For a moment, consider the medic's healing abilities as his cash flow or regular income. However, at the end of each second, whatever profit he doesn't spend will vanish out of existence. No savings will compound over time, so the medic is left in a street rules winner-takes-all deathmatch against the Lord of Time himself. Depending on the amount of time since spending their last health, I have the opportunity to give someone between roughly 25 and 75 health per second. And every second wasted without healing is money I lose. Add into this the components of overheal, health temporarily surpassing the built-in limit to a literally superhuman surplus, and the possibilities to risk medigun healing time in exchange for superior heal rates with the Crusader's crossbow or the Amputator taunt. And the medic goes from being a bottom of the barrel NPC placeholder for a real class to a precision stock trader that undergoes more explicit choices per second than any other character in Valve's franchise. Perhaps some of the medic's unpopularity in the Team Fortress 2 community is simply due to the fact that we are all too fucking stupid to play him. Usually this level of mentally strenuous and high pressure complex decision making is only found in StarCraft, Kriegspiel Chess, and the Campaign for North Africa. Like all I am urged by a molten center of So far, we've analyzed the medic to best understand its nuance and unrecognized complicatedness. But let's take a step away from this view, outside of the firmament, away from the first sphere of shamanic consciousness, to the final level of sound consciousness, where the medic's experience is communicated through a language of vibrating waves that manifest equally sonic and visual experience. The game. The selfless, immersive experience as one embodies the medic and abandons their old identity as an exercise in understanding the ephemeral nature of the self. Only through my contribution to my team will I reach union with the Absolute. Oh, yeah, Only through my contribution to my team will I reach union with the Absolute. Now let me tell you something most other TF2 YouTubers are afraid to admit. The experience of obtaining a full uber charge and employing it strategically to secure my team's victory contains a specific joy uh, that personally takes me back to when I lived in Denmark and the first time I took two DPMP. Similar to the way that sexual arousal triggered by a novel experience with a house pet in youth can contribute to the onset of zoophilia in adulthood, my deeply sensuous and spiritually draining relationship with playing medic is likely due to an associative miswiring in the brain between my history taking norepinephrine uptake inhibitors and lengthy sleep deprived gaming sessions, playing medic in pubs chasing this enigmatic pleasure until I reach a euphoric climax and find myself waking up the next day close to the time when the sun is setting. However, much like animal fetishists, and probably due to the irretractable loyalty to my own subjective experience, I'm convinced this neural entangling is far from coincidence. Why would the other classes continue to fall flat when Medic delivers again and again in an almost unearthly manner to satisfy my hunger for gaming? Pure, unadulterated lust, pure 
raw fucking energy, it is raw and primal. It is like, if I were to strip down naked and kill a bear with my bare fucking hands, you feel so fucking strong. It's like a very strange old tribal warrior warlord like invincible feeling. Observe this clip here. Did you see that? You may not have noticed it, but I just had something most medic mains, and medic mains only, can fraternally relate to and bond over. It's an out-of-body experience, where I had suddenly implanted myself into the perspective of my heel target. No longer was I medic, from Germany, panicking over how to distribute the wealth. Suddenly, I was action man, sucked into a world of heroism that I myself was sponsoring in a meta way, as if puppeteering and both believing that I am the puppet. At this point in the video, you may have begun to reach your own startling conclusions of how deep the medic rabbit hole goes. Those medic mains you once considered retarded, or maybe even too immature, are actually regularly accessing the gateway to the greatest existential dilemmas of our time on a regular basis. Cognitive scientist Douglas Hofstadter only could have dreamed to realize that one day, not the elite academics, nor the philosophical community, but the layman youth, the consumers of a free-to-play video game, would be exploring the concepts of the strange loop as the result of it playing out directly through the first-person experience. Not from reading his book or approaching it by way of an intellectual dissection, but from the opposite end. Medics clambering with enlightenment through becoming familiar with this strange paradox of the puppet that puppeteers itself. Outside of Nick's unusual relationship with the inner being, he is also gifted the assets of battle that keep the other classes steadily held down to the earth. Due to the medic's general insufficiency in a 1v1 scenario, the do or die moments that force him to engage in combat are exactly what make the medic so exciting. It really feels like you're going to die when you play medic. After becoming desensitized to your value by playing other expendable characters, like Spy, the medic helps lift you up and realize the sanctified nature of life. Like a troubled person so consumed with peril that they toy with the edge of life and death. As medic, you are forced to consider the implications of your own death and the interconnectedness of us all. Even if I see that I can afford to be a sacrifice in this moment, will the sacrifice be one I can truly go through with, knowing that my teammates will pay the ultimate cost? Without heels. Without love. The feelings involved in playing medic are often too visceral and intense to do justice in words. But this is exactly what draws players to him again and again. It is this heart-wrenching struggle between glory and calamity that is felt most personally for the medic because he's forced to be the most conscious of the people around him and to be the most conscious of how he is interacting with them. Great medics don't merely decide the outcomes of matches. To say that they just win games is to miss the point entirely. Medics change games at a completely fundamental level. In the same way that a car crash can suddenly bring you to hell or that the unexpected face of a loved one in a public place can change your brain's entire interpretation of that environment in an instant. The presence of a medic, quite literally, changes the game that you are playing. And what could feel better than being responsible for that? <laughs> 